Man, I can't wait until I get to the uh, Appalachian tra Trail in 2018. That's 18 months away. And, and one good thing about that, it gives me time to prepare and save money. It'll probably cost, I'm guessing, around $5,000 and get in shape. Uh, mentally prepare because there's some tough times. It's, it's, all the hikers say it's, there's really tough, tough parts. So I don't want to take it too lightly. Um, but by having 18 months away, it gives me something to anticipate and really look forward to. And, um, it's given me a, like a new energy. It's, uh, resuscitated my soul. It's like soul CPR. I uh, just thinking about it and training. I mean, what a joy to come out here and, you know, this is how I prepare. It's not like I'm studying for a test or doing something like that. Uh, I just go out in the woods and walk and stay with my 21 day fix, my beach body, use that program and get my eating going. And uh, I have a friend that's gonna go with me and we're planning on bringing a couple travel guitars and just playing some music and trying to record something maybe by the campfire, maybe record a little documentary. Uh, sort of encourage people just to, man, just so what's really important in life. It's good to work hard. You gotta work hard and you gotta find that thing you're passionate about and what you're good at. I don't know that I've ever done that, if I've ever found that thing, but um, it's also great that, you know, we live in a time where we're at relative peace, the economy is basically good that we can do this. And to me, it would be a shame. I mean, what good is having it and not using it? If you have a Lamborghini in your driveway, it does you no good unless you drive it. And man, being this nature is way more than any damn Lamborghini. It's, uh, it's way worth more. Of course, I've only sat in a Lamborghini. Maybe if I drove one, I would think different, but I doubt it. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just a place to be. And really, I'm gonna do the trip about the same way I moved to Nashville. I moved to Nashville with $500 and everything that fit in my car. And I slept on a friend's sofa and got my start that way 21 years ago. Uh, so I'm probably gonna sell most of my stuff, maybe, maybe store my, uh, some music stuff and a few things that are important. And uh, I thought, geez, when I get to the top of Canton and Mount Mountain after 2,200 miles, I'll just jump because my life may never be <laughs> that good. But uh, I think I think deciding to walk the trail is a jump. It's a leap of faith. And I think it's going to change me. A friend that did it two years ago said that after two months being out in the woods, it just changes you. It's life changing. It's it, you'll never be the same. And uh, I'm looking forward to. Um, meeting uh, the person I'll become and it's uh, I don't know it's like I said it's just revived my whole outlook on life doing that it was a scary thing to do because I'm comfortable now I have a couple small businesses and I don't really have to work that hard but there's just not a lot of passion and uh, you know, I do take comfort in eating too much food and sitting around and bitching about politics. And a lot of things that I, I don't have no control over politics. I don't have no control over what the government does. I need to, you know, always focus on what I do have control of. You know, my attitude and my weight and my health and uh, my joy in life. And, you know, I could spend my whole life bitching about things that I can do nothing about. And that's that doesn't work for me. I, I've tried that before. It's a dead end road. So uh, I love being, I love having the freedom. I mean, I have a little one bedroom apartment. I have steel racks in my living room and a couple steel racks in my bedroom filled with eBay stuff. My van is 19 years old. Just put a new water pump and fuel pump in it. You know, that's what happens to old vans. And, uh, but this is what I want. I got my time. I got my time. And that's what life is made out of. And uh, 
you know, there's no 401k or retirement fund, and I'll have to work, you know, till the day I die. I don't care. I mean, that, that's fine. If, if it's some work, you know, I have a little janitorial business. I don't love it, but I don't mind it. I used to hate going into that office, and the people that work there hated going into the office. So, uh, this is we're just at a time when we can really do more, take control more of our lives. And, uh, you know, maybe I'm not going to have all the new stuff, uh, but, uh, you know, what will be new, it's going to be my heart and my soul and, you know, uh, the attitude. If you ever seen people, you know, I watch, go on YouTube and watch all these people walking the Appalachian Trail. There's a lot of videos now. And uh, you can see a lot of the young people have that sparkle in their eyes. And when you're out, when I'm out in the world, a lot of the older people lost that sparkle. And, uh, you know, how much is that worth? How much is having that? And I think you know what I mean. You know, I mean, one of the great things is just seeing an elderly person, you know, or an elderly couple with that sparkle in their eyes, holding hands. And, there's just something about that passion. I think that's how we're, we're meant to live, but it's a choice. And it's a tough choice to make sometimes because fear gets in the way. We gotta overcome the fear with gratitude and love. You can do it. I did and I'm still trying, still working on it.